Damn Moscow here, and in this video we're going to talk about some SEO. We are uh, kind of specifically talking about local SEO, but this also applies to national SEO. And we are talking about outbound links from your website. So these are links to other websites from your website. This is a small and often overlooked key to good SEO. And let's just go ahead and show you what we're working on here. We're working on a client's uh, site. Um, don't put too much into this cosmetic because uh, we haven't even touched the cosmetics really on this site. We were just looking at this page and we're doing this all step by step. We haven't done any internal linking or anything, but I came across a very uh, good example and I wanted to share it with you. So we are on her about page. She's clearly a mental health counselor in Columbia, South Carolina area. Now as a mental health therapist and counselor, there's a couple good reliable sources and let's just go ahead and just show them to you. So if you're unfamiliar with this industry specifically, the American I don't know if that's right. The APA, it's the American Psychological, let's just see if that, yeah, that is right. American Psychological Association, that sounds weird. I uh, I was a psych major, I just remember always hearing it called APA. But this is one of the biggest authorities in this in the psychiatry industry. And uh, if I knew a little bit more, if I was a psychiatrist myself, not sure if they do studies or uh, what, but it's kind of like the every psychiatrist, maybe they license people. I can't remember exactly what they do, but they are one of the trade organizations and one of the biggest trade organizations among counselors and therapists and psychiatrists. And that's why we are willing to link out to their website the, the website's a .org website, it's www.apa.org, and just being, I studied some psych, I'm sorry, I think I said I was a psych major before, I was a sociology major, I spent a decade in undergrad, but, <laughs> but I remember hearing this said over and over and over and over again, the APA, the American Psychological Association, APA, blah, blah, blah. The point is, by having an outbound link over to the APA, we are doing what's natural and what's normal for human behavior and more importantly for search engine behavior. If we didn't have this outbound link, I'd be a little bit more skeptical just as a human being and the search engines are just the same. The search engines are getting very, very sophisticated. It makes sense to have an outbound link from your website over to any sort of government website, any sort of authority, and even just a good website that you like, but especially the .org, .gov websites, like university, those are good, uh, universities, those are good outbound links. And let me just show you another one. So here's another great one, uh, text, 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 text. And then the board of examiners, this is kind of like the board of, it's counselors, but it's the, it's the state board. It's like the person that licensed Jolie to go and be and offer medical mental health therapy, not medical, but mental health therapy. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't go and, and put a little sign up in an office offering mental health, uh, mental health therapy. I couldn't do that because I don't have this license. I haven't gone to school to do that. Uh, I haven't gone and gotten my master's or doctorate like PhDs. Um, but this is like one of the best outbound links you can have from your website. And even though having outbound links on the surface shouldn't, isn't supposed to help your SEO, as I mentioned, the search engines are so sophisticated now they're just like a human, if not better, and what they can't see as humans, believe it or not, Google does have humans reviewing many websites, human beings. 
Yes, human beings are looking at your website along with the search engine spiders to determine where you go and what you should be ranked. And if you have normal and natural, you don't have to have a lot of outbound links. I think these are the only two on this whole website thus far. We, we're still working on it, but and we're not, we, we don't need any more, but we should link over to the the big trade organization or two of any industry and then we should also link over to the person that, that provides you that certification the state or federal um, just as a let me just go ahead and mention this as another example I have a credit uh, credit repair site and we have quite a few outbound links over to the credit bureaus we also have a few outbound links over to the Federal Trade Commission and then we also have a few outbound links over to uh, government laws about credit repair and uh, laws that govern credit repair organizations and laws that govern collection agencies the Fair Credit Reporting Act the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act Whatever industry you may be working in, it is a very important factor that you include. Let me just sh show you this one real quick. Because even the South Carolina Board of, uh, look, they even have related links. And uh, I think I was looking at a different one earlier. But they even link out to, yeah, American Counseling Association. They even link out over to other websites. That's a government, that's the state examiner. They have a link over to the American Counseling Association, which is probably a link that Jolie should put on her website, because, you know, <laughs> if the uh, certification person is linking over to them, that's probably a good, good case. Whatever the, my point is simply that having a couple good outbound links will make your website a whole lot more trusted, a whole lot more of an authority, and it's normal. When's the last time you read a book without seeing somebody refer to somebody else's book? I couldn't tell you, and I'm a avid reader. It's just normal and natural, so I encourage you, if you don't have an outbound link or five on your website currently, go create one or three uh, just make sure that you're linking over to really legitimate, if they're government websites or university websites or really trusted websites. Like I had mentioned credit before, we could have a link over to Bankrate or Credit.com, a couple of the big, really authoritative websites already. Um, this just makes your website seem a whole lot more normal, natural, and humanized and search engineized. And both of those are used when it current comes to determining your search engine rankings. If you'd like to know more, I've created a free report. It's the seven golden steps to shower in search engine traffic. You can grab it by visiting danmoskelluniversity.com and signing up right here. Um, if you happen to miss this promotion, we're not going to run it forever. If you happen to miss this promotion, we'll be doing something else here in the future, but please go now and grab this. We've also got some books over at Amazon, and please leave a comment if you have any specific questions or concerns below. Please like this video and have a great afternoon.